Hello everybody and welcome back to another thrift with me video. In this video, Bianca and I actually went over to the place where my booth used to be, which is Treasure Mart in Hudson, Florida. We love to go over there. I haven't been there since probably early February. So I was really hopeful that a lot of things probably swapped itself out. And maybe, just maybe, there was some booths that were on sale. Um, I don't think there was any booths on sale this time, but there was some different items. So we were able to come away with some good treasures. That's what's great about this place. They sort of market it as like an indoor flea market, but there are people that put like cool antiques and stuff in here. Um, and there's, you know, it can fall along the same line as like an antique store price, but not at the same time. I really liked these cats, but they were pretty beat up. They were like cat bookends. I don't know about you guys, but I like figural things. Like um, there's a there's a house in my neighborhood that has like all these planters outside. And he has these old stone, um, you know, like pottery type planters that have these angel faces sticking out of them. And I look at them every time and I'm like, I have to have those. I want them. But, you know, I can't you know, necessarily steal them out of his yard. That would be kind of bad. So I'll just have to thrift my own. <laughs> this booth did have a lot of cool things. It had a lot of cool like wood, like natural things. I was actually hunting for a cabinet for Aaron. So I was keeping my eye out for that. I There's one that he's using that used to be in my craft room like years and years and years ago. We repainted it and we put it up on the wall for him to put his little trinkets and stuff in that he likes to collect but it's a little too small. It's like too shallow. And like if he puts a fairy lamp that he was given in there, the door won't close. So I was on the hunt for something like that, um, that we could like repaint if we had to or whatever. And then he can have a cabinet um, with a door. I need one with a door, like a glass door, um, because this whole house shakes. It's an older home. It's like 1930s. Um, so it's lifted up off the ground. So um, that and the floor needs to be replaced. So um, hopefully it'll we'll fix get to that soon and that will um, help it a lot. But because it's lifted up off the ground, those of you guys with older homes know what I'm talking about. Kind of like shakes a little. And I'd rather him have his little things in a door that, uh, like a cabinet that closes so they don't just rattle right off the wall. <laughs> Now this booth is one of the ones that I always check out. He's actually like, uh, he runs estate sales and he gets the leftover items that don't sell and he puts them in his booth. Uh, but he got a ton of Peter Rabbit stuff. Now I have this, um, that cookie jar. I just wanted to see how much he was reselling it for. Uh, but there was like lots of Peter Rabbit things here on the shelf. And I was like, oh my goodness. I just love it. If you follow me over on Instagram, you would have seen I posted, well, I don't think it was a picture. I think it was in my stories and the stories disappear unless you save them, but uh, I'll post some photos. But if you follow me over on Instagram, I showed some of my Easter decor that I was putting out um, and I have a part of it that is almost all like Peter Rabbit or like bunnykins oh well no i put the bunnykins cup somewhere else so it's almost all peter rabbit which i'm very proud of <laughs> these tinkerbell salt and pepper shakers sell pretty well that was just a figurine i was looking at but the other two were salt and pepper shakers if you can get them cheap enough they sell pretty well i thought this was really pretty i loved the soft colors that's why i just had to look at it i don't know about you guys but there's some things that i'm just really attracted to um and religious iconography especially like older stuff i'm attracted to i love like um florals with like the color black in them there's just certain things i'm attracted to and 
that was one of them so i had to take a peek he moved this tiki cup i always look at that tiki cup so i had to check and see if it had been marked down but it hadn't the little figurine that i have in my hands i didn't end up getting because i noticed that it would have had the fur like hair on its head and it was all ripped off this wizard of oz book was tempting but it doesn't sell very well it sells for about what he was asking for it and that's what i mean like this booth this guy kind of knows his stuff um so you know every once in a while i can catch something like i got this baseball bat for aaron um didn't realize it was a softball bat in the store <laughs> But it ended up being um, like cheap enough because there's a thrift store around the corner that has them for 25. Um, so baseball bats sell resell really well as well. So if you ever see those, make sure you look those up along with certain baseball gloves and things like that. Um, and check out that whole like shelf of corningware. I don't really touch that stuff anymore. It doesn't sell very well for me. This is another booth that I check out. They have a. Um, a booth at the flea market and if i remember correctly this guy said whatever doesn't sell at the flea market after a while they bring here now i was gonna get this i was trying to tell if that was because it's very light usually the green cut to clear is like that grass green you know um or like a more kelly green i should say so i was trying to tell i'm like was this like is this so I put it in my cart and I was going to examine it in a little while. I didn't end up getting it. I chose something different. Um, but I do like to check out this guy's booth. Now he had those little dogs as paperweights, but I think those are old candy containers. It would have had like a piece of aluminum or um, some kind of wrapper on the bottom that you could peel off and dump out the candy. That boat in a bottle was very tempting. I almost got that for myself. I did end up getting this swan planter. I sold a much bigger one on Etsy maybe last year or the year before. I haven't seen one since, and I've never seen a little one like that. So um, I did end up picking up that planter. All right, guys, so there is a couple more minutes left of footage in this video. So I hope you guys stick around and enjoy that. Um, but you'll have to come back tomorrow for part two. I'm breaking this into two parts because I did get quite a bit of footage here. So that's pretty awesome. So make sure you check back for that. Don't forget that on Fridays at 1 p.m. here on the channel Eastern Time, I have live sales. And also Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern here on the channel, we have live sales. And that's where you'll see a lot of the items that I pick up here in the Shop With Me videos or that are in the haul videos. And don't fret, if you don't know what I've bought from the Shop With Me videos, that's what the haul videos are for. So make sure you go check those out as well. Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram. And before you leave, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and maybe even leave us a heart down below. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.